excellent run stuffer on every single run play, Gaines has some kind of impact. Whether it be taking on blockers and eating up double teams, or coming in and making the stop, he would get it done for the Huskies. He can fill gaps or shoot through them, and he does it at a very high level. Slippery Gaines is a tough player to block because he knows how to use his body. He doesn't have the best pass rush arsenal, but he knows how to get off blocks and get involved with the play in both the run and pass game. It doesn't always show up in the stat sheet but he finds ways to make an impact staying involved in the play this goes with the last one, but Gaines doesn't take snaps off, and he stays with every play until the end. The play below is a perfect example, where the running back sneaks by him, and he's still able to break through the double team off the snap and come in to assist on the tackle. Three player traits in need of improvement short arms he can't really improve on this but it will be an issue at the NFL level, and teams will definitely knock him for it. His arm length will allow offensive linemen to throw the first punch and get their hands on his chest early and often. He'll need to really work on his hand fighting at the next level. He knows how to bull rush. And bull rush Gaines has a lack of a pass rush arsenal, which really limits what he can do at the NFL level. He's not exactly big enough to be a true nose tackle, so he'll have to develop a more refined set of pass rush moves. His bull rush isn't the most effective either, as if he doesn't win early in the rep, he has a tendency to get overpowered, and every now and again he'll get pancaked. Lateral movement it's pretty easy to get by gains with any kind of cut, as too often he'll just dive and miss. He doesn't shift his weight side to side very often, and when he does it, he doesn't do it well. He either ends up on his back or in pursuit of the ball carrier.